Channel. Welcome back to the channel, whichever you see today. Welcome to, welcome back to the Ultimate Espo Rank, and we're going to begin to most recent in their fish to selfie side by song. Give my thoughts and put into a list most recent to least favorite, which you can find in the pinned comment section below. The story so far. Big love to Matt Hawking guys for making this whole series happen. Um, Don't blink, kind of came out of nowhere for me. Really loved it. Uh, so yeah, this is another B side I've not heard. Obviously, this is Hot Air Balloon. Oh. Very different already from a dumb blink. Oh, very electronic. Very electronic. Completely honest, guys. Off the bat, sorry that one's not for me. I uh, always want to be respectful, guys, when songs don't really gel for me. But that's not what that's that one's not for me. I'll explain why. Uh, that um, I've said this with Esper before. Uh, I can't remember what songs I was talking about when I said it. Early on, in particular, Esper did things where they would like do these big shifts in the middle of songs, at the first half of songs, like last sections of songs, like do these big shifts in the instrumentals and everything like that. And big switch ups. I've said before, that could be really good for creating an unpredictable vibe, which it is, it is unpredictable. However, in my opinion, it can kind of throw you around a little bit as a listener. Um, and the thing is, I'm not a big fan of that anyway. It, it needs to be done really well for that to happen. And it has, there's been examples of it across the channel. 
Um, and examples of it in Espersons too, to be fair, but there's been some times where that's been, it's thrown me around a bit too much. That's one thing. Unfortunately, the thing that makes me, you know, not into this song even more is it's it's bubblegum pop. Um, it's it's very much bubblegum K-pop, which is easily my least favorite uh, genre, subgenre of K-pop. It's kind of what I thought before my eyes were open, my ears were opened to K-pop. It's kind of what I thought K-pop was, all of it. Um, of course, I, I, I was I was so happy to be proven wrong. Uh, and you know, this channel wouldn't exist if I wasn't proven wrong about it. Um, but this, like, yeah, this this is this is what I thought K-pop might have been before I had my eyes opened and everything like that, as far as like pure bubblegum and everything. I know there was some switch ups where there was like a bit of bit of hardness in the instrumental and stuff like that, but the chorus was very bubblegum. Um, I was really not a fan of the chorus myself, just not my kind of music. Um, the up, 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 hot air balloon re repetition just really didn't work for me. Um, their voice is only great, Esper, obviously. Um, but yeah, well, I, obviously guys, I want to be honest about it. Um, I always, always want to be genuine. Uh, if, if you love the song, awesome stuff. Uh, again, the music taste is different. It's just, this is not a, a genre I love and I'm not a big fan of sometimes when there's loads of switches and songs and stuff like that. Just, again, throws me around a little bit. It c can work if it's done really well, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, I don't think it'll surprise you with how I'm talking about it. Sadly, I would put um, Hot Air Balloon uh, at the bottom of the list uh, straight away, uh, to be totally honest. Uh, I'm surprised as well that I would have thought this song would have... If this song was like... I'm, I'm shocked this song is recent. Uh, I thought this would have been like one of their earlier songs and stuff like that when maybe they were trying to find their sound. I'm very surprised that there's a song like this this late into the this, in, this late into the discography, and crazy that it's on the same uh, same release as like the songs it's on. Like um, I find that very surprising. Talk about it, talk about like different sounds on one release. Again, if this is your kind of music, this sort of like I, I again I, I really enjoy light light mu light pop and stuff like that. But there's a difference for me between light pop and bubblegum. This song goes to that side more. Um, so yeah, uh, it's a shame, guys. Uh, I will say that you know sometimes there's a, there's a part of a song what I always say with growers. There's a part of a song where I listen to it and I go, oh, okay, that works for me. The other the other part of the song doesn't work for me, but that, that well, works for me a little bit, so that will keep me coming back to see if it grows. i got to be totally honest. that I, I, I There was nothing in this song that would make me come back to it. I, I know pretty much straight away how I feel about it. It's one of those cases, sadly, and again, I'm sorry to be negative on it, but again, i got to be honest with all this, otherwise, if I just say, if I just lie and say I like every song, I'm not that type. Uh, so anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I know even though I wasn't a fan of it, um, please let me know. You may you may love it. That's great. Um, and everything. It may be on the top of your list as well. Awesome. And uh, yeah, let me know what you thought about it in the comment section. And please subscribe because plenty of Esper on the channel already in the Esper Reactions playlist. Plenty more on the way. Hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day, morning, afternoon, night. Whenever you're watching this, please take care. Much love.